छोटे बड़े चारों ओर के देश विदेश के बच्चों का look back at the beginning of your Brahmin life you will see how elevated your fortune has been right from the beginning When someone is born, the first fortune he receives is the fortune of sustenance from his parents. After that, he receives the fortune of study. After that, from the Guru he is blessed however the sustenance study and Shri Mat Vardhan Blessings which you children receive is given to you by whom? You receive all these three from the Supreme Soul Himself.
receive sustenance from God which very few out of millions could receive such sustenance you receive God's teachings no one else receives them even Srimad and blessings only you receive from the Sadguru Do you know very well how fortunate you are? Do you keep swinging and singing songs keeping in mind? How fortunate you are. Do you keep saying, Wa, my fortune, Wa? Amrit Vela Seleke. Right from Amrit Vela. Jab Utteo. When you wake up, Do you wake up with the consciousness that you are lost in God's love? Does God's love wake you up? <coughs> the beginning of the day's routine starts with God's love. If there wouldn't be that love, then you wouldn't be able to wake up. Love is Love is the bell which wakes you up. At the right time, During the whole day, God's company makes you do your task. It is such a great fortune. Father leaves his Paramdham to come to you to give you his teachings. Have you ever heard before? That 
God leaves his home parane ke liye aate his abode every day and comes down descends to teach his children from however far a distance the children may come but there could be no further distance than paramdham could there be any other land more distant than paramdham america africa are america and africa far away Paramdham is the highest on high region. From that highest on high region, the highest on high God. Comes to teach his highest on high children. Do you do you experience this type of fortune do you as a satguru or sat videte he instructs you for every task and also sab mat nahi dete gives you his company sat pe dete he doesn't merely give instructions or dictates you but he also gives you his company sat sat what song do you sing you are with me sat is he far away He is very close to you isn't he He is with you Agar sunte ho to parmatam teachers When you listen you listen from God the teacher when you eat you eat with bab dada akele khate ho to aap ye galti hai if you eat alone then it's your mistake to khate hai mere saath ka baba says you eat along with me aap bachcho ka bhi fayda hai in that you will are benefited too we will eat along with you we will sit along with you and we will also sleep along with you and we will go back home along with you you don't have to sleep alone akele sote to pore sam swapan va pore when you sleep alone bad thoughts come and bad dreams come to lekin baap ka bad thoughts come in your dreams itna pyar hai but baba's love is so immense for you sada kehti hai mere saath so that he tells you always sleep also with me don't sleep alone when you wake up you wake up to be sad chalte ho to be sad when 
when you wake up you wake up along with him when you sleep you sleep along with him when you walk you walk along with him when you eat you eat along with him when you go to your office business or you go for your business trust you at that time you are the trustee and Baba is the owner. When you go to your office, that your director or the boss is Baba himself. Your logic boss is only Baba instrument, so but the real boss is Baba. Baba and you are working under him. And when you are depressed, then Baba as a friend entertains you. He, be he becomes your friend. When you have tears of love in your eyes, Baba comes to you to ask you. And your tears are put by Baba in the box of his heart. And sometimes when you are naughty and uh, also sulk, you do sulk a lot. It's sweet sulking. You sulk in a sweet way. But Baba comes to you to make you to Baba comes to console you and says, Child, forget all about that. Forget the past. Let past be past. In this way, Baba tries to console you. <coughs> so your whole routine is with whom? It is with Bab Dada. Sometimes Baba is amused and he smiles when he sees what children say to Baba. When Baba tell, when children tell Baba, Baba, you forget us. On one hand you say you are combined. Can the one who is combined forget the one who's com who, with whom he is combined? When he is with you, he is together with you, then how can that one forget you? Can he forget you? It 
means that the children are more powerful than Baba, that you are able to also separate the one who's combined with you. Combined. Actually, he is combined with you. But Maya makes you get separated from Baba. Slightly, and Baba watches the games being played by the children. Then what does Bab Dada say? be aware of your fortune. What happens is <coughs> that you think yes, my fortune is very elevated. However, you become the embodiment of that thought. You don't become the embodiment of the high consciousness. You think a lot, I am this, I am that, I am that. You also tell others very well too. However, whatever you think, whatever you say, you have to become the embodiment of but you lack in becoming the embodiment of that thought of everything, whatever you think, experience becoming the embodiment of that too. The highest thing is to become the embodiment of experience. When you are in Paramdham in your original stage, at that time, 
you are not the embodiment of thoughts but you are the embodiment of the elevated consciousness that is you do not think there that I'm a soul I'm a soul but you are already in that stage of a soul Also, when you come in Sat, you get the beginning. You don't think that I'm a deity, I'm a deity, but you are already the embodiment of the efforts you make here. That is, you become the embodiment in a practical way there. So, as you are the embodiment in your original nature as well as at the beginning, now you have to become that embodiment again at the end. When you become the embodiment, your virtues and powers are automatically revealed. Just as when someone belonging to a particular occupation is seated on his seat, then the qualities and acts according to that occupation are emerged automatically. Similarly, Seat yourself on the stage of the embodiment of that high consciousness. Then every virtue, every power, every type of intoxication will be emerged automatically. You will not have to work hard for attaining that. This is called to experience the Brahmin nature in a natural way. Just be or Sapa in which the different natures of uh, the past several birds get finished. Natural 
the natural nature of Brahman life is Konaswaru Sarva Shakti Swaru becoming the embodiment of all virtues, all powers. old natures are not of the Brahmin nature. You do say that this is my nature. But who is saying that this is my nature? Is it a Brahmin? Or is it a Kshatriya, the warrior? Or is it the soul who is an embodiment of the awareness of his past birth? The nature of Brahmins is is like the nature of Brahma, Father. Therefore, think. When you say. This is my nature. Now can you say these words in your Brahmin life, is it possible? If you are still trying to erase our past nature, your past nature and that nature still erupts then you should think that at that time you are not a Brahmin but you are a Kshatriya, a warrior who is battling, trying hard to erase, to wipe away the past nature. So what do you become? Brahmins sometimes become Kshatriyas. What are you called? Are you called Brahma Kumar or are you called Kshatri Kumar? Kshatri Kumar Are you Kshatri Kumar? Brahma Kumar, Brahma Kumar. You are Brahma Kumars and Brahma Kumaris. You don't have another name, do you? Do you call anyone by the name of Kshatri Kumar? Come. Or do you say that I am not a Brahma Kumar but I am a Kshatri Kumar? Do you say that for yourself? Brahman. 
Therefore, a Brahmin means the one whose nature is like that of Brahma Father. So never say these words. Never say even by mistake. What can I do? That's my nature. This is only an excuse. Even to say this is an excuse. It's like trying to save yourself by giving this excuse. As you have taken a new birth, how can old sanskaras, old nature emerge? From where do they emerge? If they do emerge, that means you haven't died completely from your past birth. Can it be said that you are half dead and half still alive in your of your past birth? Brahmin life means that Bra Brahmin life means that every step you Brahmins take is like the step of Brahma father therefore Bab Dada are looking at your fortune Compared to the elevated fortune you have, these words which are spoken by you don't see, don't look good. This year you are celebrating it as the year of liberation, is it not? What classes do you give? how to celebrate this year as a year of liberation. So is this the year of liberation or not? Or will that come in the year 1998 is the year of liberation, is it not? Those who think it is 1998, the year of liberation, raise your hand. Don't clap, just raise your hand. <coughs> All are raising their hand. Baba is looking around. Looking to his left and there, everyone raises his hand. Yes, it's very easy to raise your hand. What happens is, because you're sitting in this atmosphere and you are swinging in happiness and therefore you raise your hand and there are more hands coming up. However, Let the hand be raised with the courage coming from the heart. Make a promise. Let anything go away, be lost. But let not the promise that this year I have to celebrate as the year of liberation be forgotten. Is your promise that firm? Be careful when you raise your hand. Baba is 
your hand, if you are raised, it may not come in this TV, but in Baba's TV, it will definitely come. Therefore, as this is the year of liberation, you should not say such words even by mistake. Your words should be so sweet. They should be like the words of the Father. Let there be words of good wishes for every soul. This is called to use yukti yukt words. <laughs> You shouldn't speak ordinary words even when you are moving, when you are performing actions or doing anything. Ordinary words should not be spoken. If by chance someone comes, that one should experience them not to be just words coming from your lips but like pearls coming from your lips. They should not be felt as words but as pearls. Words spoken with pure feelings are like diamonds and pearls. Why? Because Bhaptata has already signaled you several times that according to the time as there is very short very short time left There is very little time left for accumulating the treasures. Divya 
your money. If at this time you do not accumulate the treasure of time, words, the wealth of knowledge, the powers attained through yoga, the divine life which you have got now, if you don't accumulate all these treasures now, then it will not be possible for you to do it later on. the whole day check the account of each of your treasures just as you check your physical treasures don't you this much is accumulated Similarly, accumulate every treasure and then check the account. You need all the treasures. If you want to pass with honors, then your account ha of each treasure has to be so full that for 21 birds you could continue to reap what you have accumulated now. Too late bell has not yet rung, but it is about to ring. Baba won't tell you the day and the date when it will ring. It will happen all of a sudden. And uh, it will be announced too late. What will you do then? Will you try to accumulate at that time? much you may wish but you will not get the time this is why Pap Dada keeps on giving you signals again and again accumulate 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 title 
Almighty Authority. It's not just mighty, but Almighty Authority. Sarva Konasampan. Even in the future, your title will be all virtuous, not just virtuous. To accumulate all the treasures means to accumulate all the powers and virtues. Each virtue and power has a connection with the treasure. For example, your words should not be ordinary words, but you have to speak sweetly. Now that becomes a virtue. Similarly, each treasure has a connection with a virtue, or each virtue has a connection with the treasure. has great love for the children. This is why again and again Baba keeps on signaling you Because in this gathering, there are variety groups. There are the little children, teachers. There are the teachers. Because it's the teachers who have uh, got the surrender ceremony done. There are the Kumaris. There are the ones who are householders. So this is a variety group. It's good, you have given a chance to everyone. This is very good. The children had requested since a long time. There was a request from the children. When will we get a chance to meet Baba? Little children. So the little children in this gathering it is good a bouquet of variety flowers is in front of Baba 
all the little children from the age 12 to 15 they are here achhi tarah se raising their hands very high they are waving it yes baba singh raise it high so that you can be seen and they're so much standing up because they're so small yes yes now put your hand down everyone is so excited yeah. seeing the little children sitting in the gathering bachcho se to paro ka pyar hota hai the elders love the children to baap se bhi bachcho ka pyar hai therefore baba too has great love for the children the little children aur sabhi bachche you children you are a brahmins at this time but what will will you be in the future say little children what will you become in the future and they all shout will become deities will become deities baba is asking okay kaun sa devta banenge which day which deity will you become do you know Nobody wants to become a female deity all want to become male deities <coughs> and the children love acha it is good bachcho se ronak hoti hai everyone is amused with little children everyone is very happy to see the amusement being or the entertainment being given by the children and ek baat yaad rakhna they say wah children wah but remember one thing children bachche brahman atma hai bachche to jo paro ka bhagya so you are chill little children but you are brahmin children and therefore whatever is the fortune of the older brahmins the brahmins were older in age your fortune is also the same sat ko kabhi nahi bhul and therefore never forget papa's company However much Maya may try to attract you, but don't forget, Baba. Now those little children who go to the class every day, raise your hand. Are there children who go every day to the class, and so many hands are raised? Do you go only on Sundays, or do you go every day? Those who go every day raise your hand, and so many little children are raising their hand. They go every day to the center. Are these children going every day to the center? Bab is asking. See, there's so many. Do you watch TV? And everyone loves. <laughs> Do you wo- watch TV? Now everyone is laughing. See if you watch good things, then that's okay.
but if you watch bad things, then that's not good. Today, make a determined thought that if any that if any bad thing comes on the TV screen, then you will switch off the TV. Can you do that? Will you do that? Those who don't watch bad things on the TV, raise your hand. Very few hands being raised. Those who don't watch bad things on the TV. Who's their teacher? Who's the teacher of the little children? Stand up. So many teachers are here who are looking after the children. The whole education wing is here and Baba is addressing them that uh, teachers of the little children you have to see to it will all the children celebrate this year as the year of liberation raise your hand with a true heart raise your hand and many little children raise their hand. Yes, see, so many hands are being raised. Teachers are watching you. There are about 500 little children. There's so many standing up. Baba is telling them, sit down, sit down. See, the dadis have given you a chance did you thank the dadis have you thanked the dadis for having invited you to meet Bab Dada if you have it's very good but tomorrow, you should thank the dadis with great love. See, the dadis gave you a chance, didn't they? And you have also to make a promise that we will celebrate this year as the year of liberation. You should not fight, you should not get angry. Bhaktada knows
चेक करो अच्छा कुमारिया खड़ी हो जाओ
They should be able to give the certificate of free of all, free from obstacles to themselves, and also be able to take the certificate from the others in the center. this gathering the Kumaris are not the ones who get influenced by human beings or by 
objects by objects see what are you thinking Bab Dada wants those kum type of Kumaris who are free from obstacles who are destroyers of obstacles who are able to make the weak into powerful souls it shouldn't be that Bab Dada and the Dadis send you as hands and you when you go to a particular <laughs> center instead of becoming a hand you become a headache Baba does not want such type of Kumaris so what do you think are such Kumaris ready? Do you have the courage? Do you think that you will stay as free from obstacles and destroyers of obstacles? Such Kumaris, raise your hand, who have that determined thought to become free from obstacles and, and destroyers of obstacles. Are you raising your hand from the heart or is it because you are feeling shy that if you won't raise your hand what will others say? Yes, raise your hand high. Let it be high. Raise your hand high. And, and Baba is telling the one who's, who's uh, walking with the TV to take the TV. Stand up. Yes, yeah, stand up, now take the TV. See. Only those who are seeing it from the, from the heart, they stand up. Those who are ready to go to the centers and are going to become free from all obstacles and also destroy the obstacles, raise your hand. Uh, stand up. Only they stand up. The others sit down. The others sit down and some do sit down. Those who are ready to go to centers as destroyers of obstacles they stand up it's nothing about a few hundred stand up some are sitting down some are standing up and again sitting down probably they are not able to decide and Baba said the, li the little Kumaris sit down only if you're above 18 years then you stand up only if you're above 18 years of age, you can stand up. Not the ones who are less than 18 years of age. Yes, all of these are big Kumaris. But I think three, four hundred are, are standing. And Papa is asking them, are you free from all obstacles? Are you also destroyed of obstacles? Did you take the photograph? <coughs> Baba is telling the photograph for Ramesh Bhai to take the photograph. The little Kumaris sit down. You don't stand up. Was the photo taken? What about the Kumaris here? So on the television we are able to see the Kumaris clearly. <laughs> Baba is telling, now give this cassette to Dadiji so that let her see each one's face clearly and the daddy and daddy you should see 
each one clearly. So congratulations. Everyone say congratulations to these Kumaris. And everyone claps. All of you say congratulations and they say Mubarak and congratulations. Now you may sit down. So there is some commotion in the hall as the Kumaris sit down. The Dadis are conversing Achha. with one another. Dadi is saying something to Baba. Yes, Dadiji is saying that uh, these Kumaris, those who think that they are ready, they will get one month's training. And Baba says, yes, <coughs> and whatever your rules are, that according to that you give them the training. So Bapta is also congratulating the Kumaris and the Kumaris raise their hand again. Yes become a right hand, not a left hand. The third group is of uh, householders who are running Gita Parshalas. Raise your hand. Those who are householders running Gita Parshalas in their homes, raise your hand. And they are also about 2,000, over 2,000. And Baba is telling them to stand up. They are over 2,000. <coughs> so in this hall today, there are about 14 to 15,000. So about 3,000, I think. Now raise your hand after standing up and they raise their hand. It's a beautiful scene to look at. Sisters and brothers are standing and raising their hand. I think about more than 2,000. It should be about 3,000. Sit down. To all the children who are instrumental for Gita Parshalas, Bab Dada calls them instrumental Sevadharis. You are looking after your household. And have also become an instrument for a service, and therefore you are doing double task. However, the speciality of those 
who are instruments in the Gita Parshalas. to become a trustee and perform every task. Because Bhaktada noticed Those who start Gita Parshalas do so with different aims. Some open Gita Parshalas from the heart because they really want to do service. And in this we run Gita Parshalas. But there are others. Because there is expansion then there is uh, a mixture in the feelings too. Therefore, Bhaptada notices that it, it's not all, but some, a few, Open Gita Parshalas to sustain their own family. They want to sustain their own family and also to do service. But Gita Parshala means. to serve as a trustee. Because all those souls who come to the Gita Parshalas do so because of their love for Baba. This is why You have to do everything with the consciousness of a trustee. It is very, very essential to do that. You have to be very, very selfless. There has to be feelings of service only. So only those who serve selflessly with feelings from the heart, they are the ones who are real to who are running Gita Parshalas accurately. So Bhaktada is very happy with these souls who serve accurately in this way because 
they are making the time be used in a worthwhile way because they are taking care they are having a dual responsibility they don't have any other feeling mixed neither they have the desire of uh, any name for themselves or the desire to sustain their own lokic family but their only aim is to serve baba and they are real trustees so to such trusty souls baba dada gives lots and lots of congratulations they are very good and they will continue to be very good too but you have to check that there should be no other feelings mixed in this feeling there should be no other feeling mixed in the feeling of service don't allow any other feeling to enter you are doing service and you are giving benefit to souls that's very good another speciality of those running gita parshalas is that many others who are living in their households get a lot of courage from those who are running gita parshalas because when they see those living in the centers think they think that oh we may also have to leave our household like these sisters but when they see others who are running gita parshalas living in their household and also running gita parshalas they take a lot of inspiration from them or be pervertive walon ko himmat o mak they get inspiration zeal enthusiasm from those who are running gita parshalas and therefore gita parshala walon ko bhi bahut bahut seva ki mubarak bab dada is congratulating a great deal to those who are running gita parshalas for being truly serviceable did you hear those who are running gita parshalas raise your hands again don't clap just raise your hand let it be just one hand and this and this baba said let it be the clap of one hand but when baba uses the word clap they think they have to clap with two hands when baba says clap with one hand this is not clap with one hand clap with one hand means just raise your hand this is called clapping with one hand acha baki jo tak ro now which is the fourth group eto sabhi teachers the teachers who have surrendered there were about 108 teachers who surrendered and had a surrender ceremony they brought their relatives with them jo api samarpan ho ke center par jaye so baba is telling them that is there anyone who have had a surrender ceremony but was not living in the center before and now they will go to the center and that he says no they're already living in the centers they have been living in the centers for 5 years but their parents thought that they need a surrender ceremony so 
they were surrendered officially in Madhupan. There are about there are 108 of them, and 1,000 relatives of theirs have come for the surrender ceremony. And Baba is telling them, it's very good. You have become courageous and have brought or service on the practical stage. Actually, you had given your hand to Baba and celebrated that surrender ceremony five, six years ago, but now you made the hand firm in your hand so that it will never be released again. Therefore, Bhaptada congratulates the Kumaris who have surrendered that may your hand be always in Baba's hand, may you be always in the company of the Father. Make this promise firm and let the rosary of victory be around your neck. Also, wherever you are staying, in whichever center you are staying, you will make that center free from obstacles. There shouldn't be any complaint of you becoming an obstacle. Also, whether it is in your in your self efforts. Sometimes externally you may not be an obstacle, but internally there may be an obstacle in you. So neither should you become an obstacle for yourself, nor should there be the obstacle of you being felt by those living in the center, nor the students should become obstacles. So three certificates needed self, obstacle free, those living in the center, obstacle free and students obstacle free. And such a center which is completely free from obstacle, that's what Papa wants from you. Are you ready to do it? But what if others put obstacles in your way? Okay, you will be free from obstacles. But if there are others who put obstacles in your way, then what will you do? Will you become destroyer of obstacles? Will you? Raise your hand. Will you become destroyed of obstacles? And they raise their hand. Therefore, surrender ceremony means the ceremony to become perfect. It's don't remember just the surrender ceremony. Of course, you'd have to remember that too. Take it. 
but according to the need of the hour. You have to you have to celebrate the day of perfection too. I have to do that, say it with determination. Tie the bracelet around your wrist of this determined thought that I have to celebrate my day of perfection. Now all the teachers raise your hand, all the teachers, all the teachers raise your hand. Yes, raise it higher. And you teachers, Baba is telling also the senior sisters from God, Jenti Ben, Mahini Ben, all are sitting here today. Many have are sitting here who have come from abroad. Congratulations to all of you. Welcome. So that is Sister Gayatri, Sister Maureen, Sister Rajni, Meera, Himlata, all are here. Bab Dada has one pure thought for the teachers. Should Baba tell you? Should Baba tell you? Will you just listen to it or will you also do it? Will you just think about it or will you also become the embodiment of it? Say yes. What will you do? Will you also become the embodiment of it or will you just listen to it? You will do it. Okay. It's a pure thought. It's not a big thing, it's a small thing which Papa wants you to do. Daddy is saying something. See, Baba Singh, see, Daddy sent a message and Daddy is smiling. Daddy sent a message that all the centers should now become free from obstacles. Actually, it's the teachers who are responsible for that. Teachers complaints because up to now, complaints of teachers come to Daddy. Daddy has a big file of them. Issue then who. who opens the letters, she says, there are such letters which come from centers and they are all useless letters which have to be thrown away and the waste paper basket gets full. It needs a lot of time to read those letters and also that much time to tear away those letters. And then to put that in the waste paper basket also takes time. So this is waste, uh, energy being wasted, is it not? Therefore, Bab Dada has a pure wish that all the teachers are who are Baba's right hands, not left hands.
Matthias Tanzi Sindrasi Esim Samajarawi Jovist Bhaksi Bajarawi If news comes from those centers where Baba's right hands are living, is it good? Such letters which need to be only torn away and put in the waste paper basket, is it good? Are you you're not saying anything? Those who think that in this year, Each one of us is going to take three certificates free from obstacle the self, center free from obstacle and also the companions in the center free from obstacles. Are you ready to claim all these three certificates? Now raise your hand. Who, those who are ready to claim these three certificates now, I was telling the cameraman to take the photograph, the video. Also, those on the first line and second line, the seniors sitting. sitting the teachers from abroad, the brothers also, who are Pandavs who are living in centers, they too raise their hand. The brothers, the Pandavs who are living in the centers, you too raise your hand. Yes. Raise your hand now. Don't, don't put it down because raise your hand high so that it comes in the TV. Keep it high. Keep it raised. Your TV is being taken. Did all of you hand? Baba is telling the sisters on Baba's left, on Baba's right. The camera is going around the whole hall and Baba is saying thank you. telling issue Ben that now your waste paper box will remain empty you will not have to fill it and issue Ben is laughing and that then she tells that Baba that Baba my hands you know get tired opening so many letters So whether you are sitting here listening or whether you are abroad or in India in different centers listening to Baba's Murli directly, sitting, uh, hearing live or you will hear a read in the Murli on paper. But Bab Dada is telling all the teachers all over the world, Bab Dada has this pure wish that in this year there should be no complaints from anywhere. All the complaint files should finish. Even Bhaktada has many files. So this year all complaint files should finish. You should become fine and more better than that. It's fine. Do you like it?
let another one be of any type any nature but you should learn the method of adjusting yourself with him or her let him do anything He may be becoming an obstacle and coming in front of you again and again. But to spend time in finishing obstacles, for how long will this go on? Even that should have a closing ceremony. Don't look at others. This one is doing like this. But think, what am I to do? If like you, you come in front of a, a mountain, a rock, you cannot expect the, the rock to move away. You have to move away. So don't think that let him change, then I will change. Let this rock move away, then I will go. Neither will the rock move away, nor will you be able to reach your destination. Therefore, if you have a pure feeling towards another soul, you may give him a signal, but then after that become free of that thought for in your mind and intellect. Do not allow the thoughts of that person who is putting obstacles in your way to come in your mind and intellect. As you know, everyone is number wise. It means everyone's stage is, is, is definitely number wise. But I have to become number one. So if there are souls who are having waste thoughts about you, you should not have waste thoughts about them. Instead, keep pure feelings for them. Of course, it does take time. It also takes a little bit of effort. However, if you want to do self-transformation, you have to change. You have to think like that, and then the garland of victory will come round your neck. If you can change the other one with your pure feelings, then you may do so. But if you cannot, 
then give him a signal apni responsibility and khatam kar do in this way finish your responsibility aur sapari vartan kar then you aake aur te chal transform yourself and then continue to fly forward even this uh, obstacle is like a golden string which will not allow you to fly find thread the thread of the curtain of truth ye sochte hai ye to sachi baat hai na ye to that's what you think because you say it's true this is right it should not happen like that why is it happening but for how long will you keep on thinking in this way and keep on obstructing become um, obstructing yourself now you have to free yourself even from these fine threads celebrate the true year of liberation isliye baap dada jo bachcho ki aasha hai wo makre utsa hai iske sabhi ke function mana kar pure kar rahe hain therefore baap dada is fulfilling your desires and getting all these functions or celebrations being celebrated this year and is uh, varash ka antam function let them be finished but the last function of this year of liberation should be the coronation of liberation acha aaj bahut variety group hai na today there are many variety groups no remind baba that there are double foreigners to gayatri you can share me in the different functions you give gifts to the dadis dada ko don't you is a mukt of varash ki function me so in the function of the year of liberation sampurna taki gift dena you have to give the gift of your perfection to bab dada
Muni Ben is telling Baba that Baba, this time the Seva Dharis are from Maharashtra. And uh, Baba says, yes, that's a very good method you have adopted, that each Brahmin is given a chance to do service here. So different zones are invited for serving in different groups. So all those who have been Sevadharis for this group, that is Maharashtra, besides Bombay, the other Maharashtra and Andhra Pradesh, Baba is telling them to raise their hand. There are many mothers. Very good. You have done the unlimited service and therefore taken the unlimited blessings in your account. Unlimited blessings have been accumulated. Everyone took the benefit of doing service, is it not? You liked to do service, did you? Everyone liked serving here? Very good. Guys, we can remind Baba of double foreigners. Afterwards, otherwise Baba will start giving up here. All the, the Sevadhari teachers of Maharashtra raise your hand, uh, stand up. They are sitting all over the hall. So Baba is saying that they are mixed. Sami Maharashtriyaki Nemet Sivadharyoko To all the Sivadharis of Maharashtra Sivadharika Babarakti Babdada congratulates them for having served Free from obstacles. Yes, all are not here because many Sevadharis are sitting outside, hearing the Murli outside because they are busy in their duties. Those who are on security. So they don't hear, the, they're not here for the murli in the hall and Baba is telling that uh, those who are in the security department should come every day to Dadi and say good morning, Dadi should meet them because they have a very big responsible job of security. Those who are in the security department have done their job well. There are many double foreigners. Namoini Ben is reminding Baba. There were some double foreigners also in the surrender ceremony. Many, about seven sisters who were in the surrender ceremony. Yes, and Baba says, Achha, jo 
उसको पहले ही आप फ्री ने एडवांस बाबा से आई डोंट नो बट आई दिस वन आई गैदर दैट बाबा दादी जानकी इज सेइंग दैट हाउ मेनी ऑफ दीज सिस्टर्स हैव सरेंडर्ड